Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Shubhada Group of Education CC. You are watching Satish Sir's Physics videos for Karnataka CET and NEET. Okay, look at the next problem on electrostatics. An electric dipole consists of two opposite charges of magnitude Q equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb separated by a distance of 2 centimeter. Okay, so the torque the dipole is placed in an external electric field of 1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per coulomb what is the maximum torque does the field exert on the dipole how much work must be must an external agent do to turn the dipole end for end starting from the position of alignment theta equal to 0 degree okay as you know that the torque Tau is equal to P into E into sin theta, where P is nothing but dipole, dipole moment, right? So that is what uh, we have studied P into E into sin theta. So for the maximum torque, sin theta is going to be how much? Sin theta is going to be one. So that's the reason why I will get torque maximum equal to P into E. So how do we define uh, uh, dipole moment P? It is either of the charges into the distance two a into what into the electric field okay let me substitute the values now the charge is how much 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb and the distance is how much 2 centimeter 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 and the electric field is 10 to the power of 5 here so what i left with here so i left with um, uh, 5 minus 1 here minus 1 minus 3 so right this is what 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 this is what uh, newton meter so that consists in only option number D. So that's the reason why option D is the right answer for that. There is a second question. What is the work done? So you know that work done W is equal to P into E into cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Right? Cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. This is what you have studied here. Okay. So as you know that <coughs> the work done, the maximum work done, that is what uh, W is equal to p into e into cos theta 1 it is what cos initially it was 0 degree okay so cos theta 1 let me take theta 1 equal to 0 degree and theta 2 equal to how much 90 degree let me take that is the maximum maximum uh, <coughs> torque for that one that's the reason why i am using uh, work done work done w is equal to p into e into cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 okay suppose if you do so uh, you will get the same answer that is what uh, <coughs> 4 into 10 to the power of minus 3 joules. that's the reason why option d is the right answer for this question okay so it's my immense pleasure to introduce an academy plus okay so in the last video lecture uh, i have introduced an academy special classes in this video lecture i am introducing an academy plus okay so um <coughs> these are called as a champion uh, course as well suppose if you use my code satish 2021 i will get that 10 percentage uh, discount on the uh, subscription okay so the benefits of this plus plans are premium content at the affordable price and the structured live courses and dedicated live doubt clearing sessions and there will be quizzes at the regular intervals of self analysis and there will be the batches for complete preparation and the test series for uh, dpps and full length mocks etc will be the analysis and single subscription for unlimited access okay so everything under single plus subscription will be there and um, an academy plus a subscription uh, here is the best plans for karnataka cd 2021 is something but for 12 months you have to pay only 12,375 for PCMB all the four subjects okay its cost is 12,375 rupees and six months plan will be also there it cost you 10,125 you have to use the code SATISH 2021 to get the 10% discount on the same price okay so go through their uh, website or download the application on academy plus so that you will definitely get to know about it okay more to the next problem the angle between the electric dipole moment and the electric field due to it on the axial line is clearly we know that 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाई फोर पाई एप्सल एन नॉट इंटू टू पी डिवाइड बाई आर क्यूब आर क्यूब दिस इज वॉट वी गॉट द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल ऑन इट्स एक्शल केस सो एस यू नो दैट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड डाइपोल मोमेंट बोथ आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन इट्स अ रीजन यू आर गेटिंग द प्लस साइन हियर सो दैट विल बी जीरो डिग्री सो एज दे आर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एज वेल एज डाइपोल मोमेंट बोथ आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन सो दैट्स रीजन वाई दैट विल बी वॉट ऑप्शन ए सो एंगल बिटवीन दैम थीटा इज गोइंग टू बी मच जीरो डिग्री ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके लुक एट नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम टू चार्जेस फोर माइक्रोकुलम एंड सिक्सटीन माइक्रोकुलम आर सेपरेटेड बाय डिस्टेंस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर द नल पॉइंट अलॉन्ग द लाइन जॉइनिंग द चार्जेस एंड बिटवीन दैम इज एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रॉम द वीकर चार्ज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज ओके सी If I draw the free body diagram here, here is a charge four microcoulomb, and here is a one more charge that is what sixteen microcoulomb. The weakest charge is four microcoulomb. Okay, so there will be a null point at which the electric field is going to be zero, which is at a distance of x from the weakest charge, and they are separated by distance of how much? Zero point one meter. 0.1 meter. So this distance must be how much? 0.1 minus x here. Clear? So let me get the weak <coughs> electric field at this point here. On this point, okay. So electric field at null point, okay, null point. We need to find out the value of x now. Okay. So for that, as you know that electric field E equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by R square. This is the formula that we have already studied about. Correct. So now, <coughs> let me let me do like this. One divided by four pi epsilon and not into charge is four microcoulomb. Four microcoulomb divided by R square is something but x square. Now that is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon and not into what? The charge is sixteen microcoulomb divided by zero point one minus x the whole square. Okay, so this is the simple steps you can uh, you have to proceed with to get the answer very easily. Now one by four percent, one by four percent gone, mu mu gone, and four one is a four four is here. One divided by x square equal to four divided by zero point one minus x the whole square. Take the square root on both sides so that I will get one divided by x equal to two divided by zero point one minus x here. Okay, so therefore zero point one minus x equal to 2x here, so it implies 3x equal to 0.1 here. So x equal to 0.1 divided by 3, which is going to be equal to how much? 0.1 in the sense 1 divided by 30. So 1 by 30 is 1 by 3 is 0.333 into 10 to the power of minus 1. That is what 0.033 meter. So option D is the right answer for this question. so thank you very much for watching this video please do like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the recent notification if you have any doubts make a comment on the comment box so that i can help you with wish you all the best for examinations thank you